What well, is up everyone, my name is Lord Fame Geos and welcome back to the Smite God Refuse. Today's God we will be looking at is in the Hunter section and his name is Rama. The 7th Avatar of, Virg of Vishnu. He is a Hindu God and he is a physical range, his role is a hunter, his pros are high morale and high attack speed and difficulty is a hard God to play to some people. Me, not so much. As you can see, these are your skins, and you will see he's player model to your right of your screen right now. This is Rama, the seventh avatar. This is his exclusive orbital strike skin, what is only available when the Odyssey was around. I don't know if they will re release it, but this is one of my favorite skins just because it's so like. Ah, oh, his bow is so beautiful, I want it. It's so cool looking. You have his tier 1 free skin. And then you have his gold, his legend, and his diamond. What doesn't actually look that bad. Of course, a sample of his voice. Lane. We will check out his orbital strike skin because that's better. It's a trap! Defend the fire giant! Enemies incoming right! Attack fire giant! Emotes, he has the basic clap and the wave. Now on to abilities. Abilities yeah. Abilities is Astral Quiver. This is a passive to himself. Rama's Astral Quiver generates an astral arrow every 15 seconds. Also, each basic attack Rama lands will reduce the amount of time to generate an arrow by 2 seconds. Astral arrows can be used with other abilities. Pretty much is a but is a buff to all his other abilities, mainly this one. Astro Strike is a buff to himself and does physical damage. Astro switches switch to a more powerful arrow that pierces and slows enemies. This ability costs one of Rama's Astro Arrows and deals bonus damage with each shot. Damage from this ability is now reduced to 75%. For each enemy after it hits, Rama cannot toggle this ability if he has no astral arrows. Can slow up to 3 times. The slow is 10%, time slowed is a second, and bonus damage is 10 to 50. Cost 25 per an arrow shot. So this is pretty much a buff to himself as it does say and will cost you how much mana and how many arrows you have. Onto his next one, pick me up. This is a buff and a pickup. It affects himself. Passive. Any time an enemy is hit by an astral arrow, there is a there is a percentage chance that an astral arrow arrow will yeah an astral arrow pickup will appear on the ground once pro uh once prots on the on the first enemy hit by an astral strike. The pickup adds one arrow to, a to Rama's astral arrow count. This also will increase Rama's attack speed when activated. Drop chance goes from 10 to 50% for our pickup and the attack speed is going from 30 to 50% for 5 seconds. Cost 80 to 100% mana to 100 mana, sorry, and has a cooldown of 15 to 11 seconds. Rolling Assault, this is dash, it affects enemies and does physical damage. Rama performs a roll in the direction he is currently traveled in. After performing a dodge roll for, for 5 seconds, Rama's next basic attack will consume an astral arrow that will ship the tar- sorry, cripple the target and deal bonus damage. Rama Inc incurs no movement penalty during this shot. Cripple is 1 to a 2 second and bonus damage is from 20 to 100. As I did say this is going whichever direction you're moving. So if you're moving northwest, you will roll in that direction. This costs 70 to 90% mana and has a cooldown of 12 to 8 seconds. Now Rama's ultimate is Astral Barrage, it is an AoE, affects enemies, and 
does physical damage and has a range from 30 to 15. Rama launches into the air but, and shoots three powerful arrows to the ground. Each successful shot increases the damage 50 to 100% and decreases the AOE size by 30 to 15. AKA your first shot will be 30, your last shot will be 15. This does 200 to 600 damage plus 60% of your physical power. This costs 100 to 140 mana and has 90 seconds. Now as you can see the stats, this is the base, this is how much your health will be increasing by at level 1. With damage and speed and all that. Now if we go to level 10, as you can see, good amount of health, still low mana, but this is the hunters we're talking about. You're meant to basic attack more. At level 20, as you can see, almost 2,000 health, of course, items will probably help this in your conquest if you build those items, and has a mana almost 1,000, almost 900, really. Now, I am not going to do jungle practice this time, mostly because the build I use needs so many stack items, it's better if I just do joust. I am not going to show you the whole video of joust, though, so I will come back at level 20 to show you the full barrage on what Rama can do. Okay, and for you guys it might seem like a second, but for me it's been like 17 minutes or longer. I am finally level 20 with all the stack items and everything I want. It would have been maybe quicker than jungle practice, but it will be a lot quicker build stacks in this mode, and I was proven right. Now, just for examples, as you can see, right above my display picture of Rama is the passive. You can hold up to five arrows and pretty much once activated it acts a fate it takes an arrow each. Of course two does give you a passive drop on them, what helps a lot. As you can see this is the two, it increases the attack speed of yourself. Now I know he is Robot is very low, it's mostly because I mumble killed him and he hasn't been able to catch up. This is the free, as you can see, whichever direction I'm moving, it will roll. And you have about 5 seconds to pretty much do one of these. Surprising that didn't give me a drop chance. I will show you how good the one is at using to clear minion waves, also cripple enemies. But as Robot isn't here right now, I'm just gonna basically clear this. He should be, be behind that one. Or not. Robot is slacking. But as you can see, it is a straightforward line. I'm a little concerned where Robot's gone. Ra. He has respawned, there he is. As you can see, that is a full-on cripple. I didn't actually think of him dying that fast. Um, personally, not looking forward to waiting for him to wait to spawn. So this is Rama's or As you can see, it goes there. It does have a timer. After shot, it does get smaller. I didn't fire the last shot, I believe. But after three on your third shot, it does go to a 15 radius, so be very warned on that. It does happen. Of course, the damage is increased to 100%. Now, he is a hunter, so he would definitely be good for with a supporter, but as you know, he doesn't use most of his mana. He uses his basic attack a lot. His stability should be used for securing kills. If your support is taken, then you got something to talk about with your support. As you see, Titan doing a good amount of damage. Ah. I'm gonna die. Now, we've been embarrassment, but my minions should be able to take care of this. As you can see, there's the good Titan. But yes. Rama is a hunter, he's the seventh avatar of it's a Hindu name and I don't want to offend any people out there so I'm just going to go with the seventh avatar. He is a Hindu god. 
thank you all for watching he does he is a hunter so that means he's your carry so make sure you put him in the duo lane but as for you I am Lord Fame GX thank you for watching for more God reviews there is a playlist in the description below of previous gods and newer gods some gods will need to be revamped since season 2 has now launched and newer gods have got a remodel or a repurpose. Now I'm just going to show you what the ornament is to bar on four. But as you can see that last shot is a lot harder to pull off. But thank you all for watching, my name's been Lord Name GX, you've been the viewer and this has been Rama the 7th Avatar. And I'm just going to rush in and nuke this thing. Make sure you leave a like on the video and comment below on any god you want to see that I haven't done yet. Till next time, bye!